Hello. Hey, hello. Good evening. How are, How are you? you? I'm fine. And Pretty you? good. I'm good. Thanks. All right. How was your day? What did you do during the day? Well, uh, today it was good because we didn't have any meeting. So this is that they call it the flow day because we don't have we have no meetings today. So um, tomorrow we have a lot of meetings through the morning. So it's going to be exhausting to be just listening, talking and uh, in the meeting. So fortunately, tomorrow is Friday. Okay. Yeah. Fortunately, we will rest, right? Nice. All right. I was I was doing some research and regarding the questions that you asked about the the sounds, right? The English sounds. We're going to talk about a, a little bit about it. And hi, Lisette, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Nice. Very well. Thank you for asking. All right. Um, English sounds. I was looking for different sources, and I was not able to locate uh, one thing that I really wanted to to know and explain to you, but we're going to, where is this? Give me a moment. I will give you some tips on how to pronounce uh, certain words. All right, give me a moment. Let me duplicate this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There. Let's start with the difference between the letter C, for example, and the letter Z, and there are different sounds. Okay, for example, trying to write something here. It's not letting me do it, but let me try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I guess I am able to, to share it. So we have three different sounds. Let me put this bigger. Mm -hmm. I'm not able to place this letter bigger. Okay. Well, just to give you some examples, basically, that is what I was checking, guys. And uh, fortunately, I was not able to find a rule where I can tell you, okay, look, this is the pronunciation and this is the rule when you have to pronounce the letter C or, uh, I'm sorry, the example, the, the sounds that are for me more difficult to realize or to explain when to say the th as a voiced 
sound or as voiceless sound. There is no rule. Actually, that, that is what I wanted to share. But starting with the um, letter with the with the com like similar words. For example, we have letter C, letter uh, S, and letter Z. Um, most of the time, the letter C is like like the S in Spanish. Yes, like um, let's see. Um, Hi, Edgardo. Welcome, Ciro. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, well, we have some differences. For example, um, somebody says zero. Zero. And they say zero, all right? Zero, like zero's name. Okay? But not me. Just to give you an example. Uh, so what is the difference, guys? The pronunciation of the Z, okay, is like a letter S in Spanish. However, if we're talking about the letter Z, we need to do a vibration, all right? Example, zero, right? Zoo uh zebra all right we need to pronounce a down all right we need to make a vibration all right some uh basically that is be, uh one one of the most common mispronunciation uh from you guys so that's it now talking about the letter d example talking about letter d we have The letter D is not like we we speak in Spanish. We always pronounce a a, a d a d. All right, very very strong. Doctor, doctor. It's not doctor. It's doctor. It's stronger. Okay, the sound is a lot stronger. Da doctor doctor. All right, say it, guys. It's not D. It's d d. All right, d. All right, doctor. Not doctor, but doctor. Okay, got it? In some cases, the letter F is pronounced, for example, like laugh. We have this pronunciation that it's with the letter GH and we pronounce a letter F at the end. Okay, for example, the PH as well, sometimes is pronounced as an F and so on i don't have more examples but that is very easy i don't think that there is more explanation needed about it fg um the g is basically easier as well but we have another d g f g h okay for example the h we don't have a specific rule i i have asked i have researched several times uh, about when to say, for example, ha or hotel, that it's pronounced like a like a ha, or like a sound of a uh, of a J in Spanish. So, but there is sometimes that says, uh, can you remind me a letter that uh, uh, a word that where we don't pronounce the H as a hotel? Honesty. Ah, very good. Thank you. Very, very nice example. Honestly. So, uh, or honesty. In this case, we have two pronunciations. We basically need to find out. As I mentioned, I'm not linguistic. I have been doing some research and I have not found the rule when to pronounce the H like ha, huh, okay, like, like with a sound or with uh, silent, okay? Anyways, uh, just for you to know, for example, when we say a hotel, in that case, we always say a, okay? But if for, uh, it's an honest, all right? It all depends, right? Because this is the sound of a... 
a vowel, right? If it's a vowel, we always use an. If it's a, a, a um, like a consonant sound, we pronounce the letter A normally, right? A hotel or an honest man, for example, okay? Um, then we have another one that I have, um, uh, uh, emphasized several times and I still hear the same and I don't see that you, uh, pronounce the difference in very simple words. For example, you, all right? You say you, like yuca, all right? No, guys. Uh, when we're pronouncing the letter Y, we pronounce it like a Latin I, all right? E, all right? You, you. And we have two examples. For example, we have New York. Yeah, New York. And we have, for example, the other one that it's also with the Y, uh, with the, in this case, is New Jersey, okay? Jersey. Okay, total. It's a total different uh, sound. For example, York, and the other is J. All right. The difference. It's not yellow. Is yellow. All right. It's not you. Is you. Okay. It's not. Um. What is another word that I was correcting on uh some days year. before? Year. Oh. But that is another sound because that is ear, all right? But some other people say jeer like this, all right? Yeah, and that is something completely different. This is jeer, um, etc. So make sure to pronounce the Y differently with the y, with the letter J, okay? Ch, ch, okay? Jersey. Jersey. In that case, we pronounce the 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 letter J as a as a, a Spanish Y, como que fuera una Y latina. All right. Um. What else? Uh, the L, for example, we don't say Lima. All right. Have you heard how the gringos pronounce the L? You can identify if they are. Native American because the L sound is completely different as ours. Okay, we say flores and they say for flowers, floor, fro. All right, the L the L is very um how can I say this? Um your tongue has to be on the back, all right? Or or, or no L like like we pronounce Lima, all right? It's la, 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 la. pronounce this L guys. Oh, oh, all right. It's not Larry. They say Larry, all right. Remember, it's a little bit softer, right? Yeah. I remember a friend from New York. He said, "I uh, say her, her name is Laura." I say in Spanish, Laura. Oh, Laura. Laura. <laughs> but they pronounce the a the a u for example. They pronounce it like an o. Okay, Laura. Uh, that is why, but my point is the pronunciation of the L. When you say uh, Lima, li, 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 this is um, Lima, le, oh, the L is completely different in English, all right? Oh. That is something else that I want to point out, okay? Yeah, yeah, say uh, Laura, Laura. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, everybody pronounce. You need, you can see my tongue is not le, 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 we say oh, 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 como que nos atragantamos con oh, nuestra lengua, right? Oh, 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 Lima, Larry, um, oh, lyrics, all right? Uh, that's a popular name, Larry, Larry. Larry, yeah, all right? So remember, guys, this is the L O pronunciation. Another word that mm, L M, for example, it's a regular M. We normally say L M mother. It's a very easy word. However, in the final sounds, we say my name, right? For example, instead of saying my name. And it's very, very common from many people, even though they are in advance, they always say my name is, right? My name is. 
So, pronunciation at the end, guys, it's very, very obvious, in my opinion, but I don't know why you continue saying, no, maybe it's not talking about you, but many students still say, ayang, ayang, all right? So, they confuse the, uh, the, the sounds of the M and the N, all right? And you can even tell, you can even notice, you can see the difference mm, just cloth in your mouse, right? Your mouse, mouse. I, I ta estamos con el otro mouse, mire. Um, I was thinking of my mouse, but no, guys. It, that is something uh, something else that I wanted to uh, recall. For example, when we're talking about the, um, well, the M and the N, completely different. It's not a yang, it's a yam. And the N is not... Um, for example, no, 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 it's a, no, no, uh, the same like the L, it's not no, it's no, 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 it's very nasal and it's very vibrated, all right, remember we're talking about, about voiced sounds, so we, we make a vibration with N, all right, no, no, it's no, can you listen when I say no, like Spanish, no, and I say, no, no, all right? The N is, you need to sound more more gringos, guys. Esa es, tienen que ser, eh, for example, you can make practice with a any pen, any pencil, and you can try to uh, maintain your tongue on the back, all right? Like this, uh, all the time like this, all right? So you can hear me? And I am not, I am not talking like like a Spanish, but this is a very a very uh, productive exercise that you can practice, guys. Stop to pronounce some letters. For example, the end, the R. All right, it's not rose tampoco. All right, it's very very soft. Um, so at the end. Uh, we are going to talk about the, the TH sounds, so that I will leave that uh, for later. For example, the difference between mouse and mouth. What a big difference, right? Mouth. So pronunciation, it's very, very important. Otherwise, we... Uh, we... We are saying something different. All right, what else? And the P, the Q, the R, R, remember, R, 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 R. I'll practice the R, guys. R, R, R. Tiene que poner la lengua enrollada para atrás, all right? R, 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 Rose, R, no, it's Rose, R, Rose, R, 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 R. All right, practice. Remember, you can use your, uh, your pencil or your pen to, to hold your tongue in the back. All right, uh, PQRST. Well, the S in some cases, if it's double S, it's like a special S. But in some cases, the letter S is also pronounced with a, that vibration, right? Dress. All right, a double S, like the letter S. But in some cases, the S can be pronounced also as Z. All right. Um, I I will give you more examples later. Okay. Okay, and what else? M and P Q R S T U V. Oh, the B, for example. Or the U is com. It's another thing that I would like to know when to say. For example, uh, when we pronounce this schwa, it's a sound like uh, all right, uh, like up. Sometimes it sounds like the letter A, up. Right, sometimes it is as a long sound, which is you, all right, but we have also um, the uh, okay. Um, most of the time, those are the the uh, the the pronunciation of the what of the of you. Now, talking about V, I mentioned already, for example, V and B. All right, and I gave you some examples like very, very, and very, all right? Completely different meaning, all right? And, and different pronunciation as well. 
uh, I also mentioned about a vest, for example. Vest is um, it's a piece of clothes that you use normally over your your shirt or your blouse. There is a vest, vest. All right, and we have the other, which is best, the best. You're the best student. All right, so V. All right, and B. We use just um, our mm, lips and teeth for the V. Okay, upper teeth and lips. V. All right, everybody, I want to see V, 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 Show me your teeth. Let me see. Mm -mm. Don't close your mouth. Vi, 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 vi. Muy bien, Edgardo. Quiero ver a Kevin. ¿Quién más tengo por ahí con la cámara encendida? Okay. <clears throat> so, like Kevin. No es Kevin, right? It's Kevin. Okay, good. And basically, that's it with the pronunciation. Now we have the TH sounds, right? Okay, our, well, you, you tell me if there is any other pronunciation because the W is also the W is not gua like J, like the like, like the letter G. Gua, gua, gua is gua, right? It's very sound. It's very soft. So you pronounce the U sound like gua, all right? How, no, how, okay. Um, what else? No, it's not window, all right? It's window, all right? Got it, guys? Soft sounds. Remember to practice pronunciation. You can use your uh, your tongue with a, with a pen to hold it, okay? Now, I was just reading some things that I want to show. Let me see if it's here. Actually... I understand, and, and I mentioned this yesterday, last yeah, previous class, that there are two consonant sounds for the th. All right, one of them is it's like um, voiced. We already explained how to pronounce the the uh, these sounds, right? The voiced sounds and also the voiceless sounds. We don't have a specific rule. Looking, what's the rule for for this? We don't. Um, it comes to English pronunciation that there is no rule. Okay, we don't know why they have this. Like in Spanish, which is which is really, really nicer because we know how to say okay, este es aguda, este es esdrújula, este es grave, blah 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 blah. Unfortunately, in English, not even native people know why they pronounce it like that. All right, so basically, we just learn by listening all right listening and repeating listening and repeating of course it's not the all right the is the all right pronounce guys the all right the the uh -huh. and exactly. if it's for example mother all right uh, mother. Mm -hmm. mother uh what else these those that uh mm, and we and we have the other sounds for example uh the th sounds like theater right and then we pronounce like a like a zeta in spanish right Th. all right pronunciamos exhalando all right basically that's it and if you have any other question regarding as another sound, let me know. Alberto? Yeah, this is the uh, the glottal stop. This is uh, so common in English when they're speaking like cotton, button. Okay. I mean, for me, this is really hard because you just, as a Spanish native speaker, we just read the letter, but they just like singer i mean i know because i've been practicing but when i read it, i say singer <laughs> because it's not i mean singer. it's not that usual to, to omit some letter well what i know is obvious uh, it's something um 
related to the N and the T. For example, when we say important, all right, we normally don't pronounce um, the, for example, important. So in this case, the T is not, it's almost silent. In many cases, let me see for other examples, important, important, all right? We don't pronounce the T in these cases. Um, what else? Um, I will find out more examples, but most of the time, if you see a, a T and an N, sometimes together they are um, they are silent. I will give you more more examples in the last class because uh, we will finish this. Uh, we just finished the session five. Okay, I don't remember more uh, more examples at this time. But in the case of important, for example, we don't pronounce the T in those cases. So it's only important. All right. Yeah, uh, I remember when in Christmas, they, mm -hmm. they used to think that the, 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 the Santa Claus is coming to town. I mean, Santa. <laughs> I was weird listening to Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa N -T, Claus. Is exactly. Coming. It's uh -huh. the T. The T, um, the T, the, I, the, I don't remember the rule specifically, but I remember a little bit that, as you say, Santa, all right? Uh, after, after the N, the T is silent. That is why, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. After the N, the T is silent. That is another rule. Thank you for recalling that word. So, um, yeah. And T, T is silent. If you have those, those, um, those letters together, okay? Um, yeah, like Santa, Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember any other at this time, but T is silent after the end, all right? That's another rule, all right? Good guys. Any any questions regarding the some pronunciations? All right. So we'll finish the session five today, and I will see you on Monday. We we'll still have classes Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. All right. Uh, an extra class that it would be up to you what you wanna what you wanna know okay or what topic you wanna talk about okay uh, Edgardo tell me when you give recommendations give me a recommendation using the models please I don't hear you. Yes. Kevin, examples given uh, uh, recommendations or opinions. Guys, no los escucho. Por eso les hablo en español, porque en serio no me, no me, no me contestan cuando les pregunto en inglés. All right. Y creo que ahora es el día de tener las cámaras apagadas. Así vamos a apagar la cámara. <risa> Vea. Para que vean, chicos, cómo you, se siente. Ok. You should turn your camera on. Who said that? 
A mí no se me porque no son sobre de nada, así no de nada. Ajá. Yeah, good example. That is a recommendation, right? That is an that, that that's an advice. That is a suggestion. All right, and the rest, guys. Mm, decimos que ya hicimos toda la unidad cinco y yo les pregunto algo bien sencillo. How do you give recommendations using the models? Okay, Ciro, ayúdeme, por favor. Okay, the recommendation is. ¿Qué es recommendation usted? <risa> Estábamos hablando justamente, Ciro, de la yeah. pronunciación en inglés, ¿verdad? Que nosotros yeah. las hacemos muy al español. Y justamente cuando usted me pronuncia otra que no se me olvidó mencionarles y que ahorita cabe el caso, es la SH, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Y la CH, ¿verdad? Es así como el chino, el chucho, el chancho, el chorizo, etc. Esa es la pronunciación que nosotros tenemos en inglés, ¿verdad? Porque no estamos acostumbrados a la SH, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, incluso todas las, pronun las pronunciaciones que terminan en, en eso, o N, es shan, ¿ok? No es chong ni es shon, es sh uh, shan, ¿ok? No es una O, ¿ok? ¿Han escuchado del, de el shua? Shua. Creo que así se escribe, un shua. No me recuerdo cómo se escribe shua. Oh, let me get something. I got a dictionary here. Que tiene un montón de sonidos. Give me a sec. Maybe it is here. Okay, guys. So as I said, it's not recommendation. It's recommendation. Everybody? No me vayan a dejar sorda, por favor, chicos. Okay? Um, listen, abbreviations, it tongues. One of your best friends is also is always a dictionary, guys. It gives you the the pronunciation, for example, how to pronounce certain letters. And this is the schwa. It's a letter A, como volteada, upside down. Ese es el sonido del schwa. Cuando ustedes ven, por ejemplo, I showed you some. Si se fijan acá, tenemos dos conjugaciones, dos pronunciaciones, verdad? Tenemos esta de TH que es la D, 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 y tenemos la F. Es una O en me, que tiene una rayita en medio, ¿ok? Si ustedes leen una palabra en el diccionario, ustedes más o menos pueden saber cuál es la diferencia. Eh, y ahorita, por, por ejemplo, ponemos esta... Um, Vaya. Miren la palabra cómo es, no es con una O, ¿verdad? Recommendation. No es shun, ¿ok? ¿Estamos? Es shun. Esta es el famoso shua que les digo. Ese es el, ese es el, el. Sí lo pueden ver, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, sí lo vemos. Muy bien, ese es, ese es el famoso schwa que ma, en, en la mayoría de palabras se pronuncia, ¿ok? Uh, so, give me your recommendation. Uh, what what do you want to say, Edgardo, when you say after and often? When you pronounce 
the ER and when, why we don't pronounce the T here, right? So that's what you're talking about? After and often. Yes, teacher. After an often uh, the example uh, when we don't pronounce the letter T. The letter T, right? As I mentioned, there are several examples, but rules are not uh, I don't are not like established. Why? Remember that English has um it's a source of German, French, Spanish. Yes. So, no hay una 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 rule específicamente para cada caso, ¿verdad? Simplemente ellos lo pronuncian así. And it has to do if they're if they're coming from France, from French, from um or from German or if it's a Spanish word. Okay? So, I would like to start linguistic one day. All right. So, guys, please remember, it's not cho, ¿verdad? It's not wash TV. No, yo no lavo la tele, ¿verdad? Nunca se lavan las televisiones, guys. ¿O quién la ha lavado alguna vez la televisión? Yo creo que nadie en su, en su, en su, en su vida, ¿verdad? Que esté de verdad en su cinco, en su sano juicio, va a wash the TV. Así que... Hay que, obviamente nosotros sobreentendemos que estamos hablando de Watch TV, ¿verdad? Pero si la pronunciación es otra cosa. Ejemplo, mmm, hay otra palabra que les quería decir. Mm, 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 um, shoes. Y choose. Nada que ver, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? Eh, entre otras, ¿ok? Y que son palabras que, que nosotros las mal pronunciamos y decimos chus en lugar de zapatos, ¿verdad? Eh, o, o viceversa. So be careful with that, ¿ok? Um, all right, but we were asking about suggestions or recommendations. ¿Cuáles eran esas recomendaciones, guys? Como ya vimos todas las, toda, toda, toda la, la section 5, básicamente ustedes ya son los master en esto, ¿verdad? And I don't agree when we say must that is for a given opinion, all right? Or suggestion. It's actually when we are prohibiting uh, um, or... Mm, saying that something is not permitted, all right? Doing a warning, maybe, okay? Or you must not that. It's like a obligation, probably, or prohibition, okay? So, what are the models we use? Quizás ni el video han visto, ¿verdad? ¿Qué les dije, guys? Ustedes tenían que hacerlo, ¿verdad? Porque en la clase dijeron que no, que aquí solo querían discutir algo de lo que ustedes no sabían y no habían visto. Pero, what's going on? You're not even giving me examples. Basic examples. Oh, oh basic examples, right? Basic examples. Or when we pronounce the S, for example, guys, another word that is very common when you say very special, very spectacular, all right? We mispronounce the S, all right? If there is no E at the beginning, it's very special, all right? We make links between words and we don't say very special, all right? Uh-huh. Edgardo, ¿qué bien? ¿Qué pasó? Les estoy preguntando justamente a ustedes. Eh, también a uh, Ciro, se me fue Ciro. No. ¿Dónde están sus respuestas entonces? Where are you? Where are your questions? Where are your answers? Where are your examples? 
<laughs> I should practice more the pronunciation. I should practice. Okay. I should practice pronunciation. All right. It's a recommendation. Okay. Good. For yourself. Mm -hmm. All right. And the other, Kevin? Hello, teacher. Uh, the politic. Uh, <laughs> Si no, si no está participando, le puede poner mute, please. Can you mute it? Porque se oye mucho, mucho ruido y nos está interrumpiendo. Sorry. All right. I'm sorry, Kevin. Can, uh, what were you saying? No problem, teacher. The, politi the politician must not permit the... Must plagios. not permit. No permit the plagios in the... Yeah, uh, for example, uh, a rule for, for for the different plagiaries in in different documents. So politicians should not permit or must not permit. Must not permit. Uh, no, must not permit to plagiarized documents yes yeah yes all right yeah. hey, you're using plagiarized all right thank you uh let me see what else lisette angela i am it's i think it. if you're in the classes because you're going to participate yes in this moment i i i am driving uh, uh, I not uh, arrived at my house yet. I you have not arrived home yet. Okay. What about Lisette? You turned the camera before and now you're up. You're uh wait. What's going on? Okay, teacher. In my case, my opinion in is your, in your case. In my case. Case. My opinion is. I need practice talking, talking English, practice talking English. You need English. to practice to speak English. You need to practice English. Okay. Yes. So why don't you practice English? I'm asking uh, for examples uh, and recommendations and opinions um, because we have already studied this for several times, but we're almost over the session five. So this is the time that you can practice, okay? Okay. Recommendation and opinion. Mm -hmm. You should pay more attention on what we're talking about. Hey, if you want to practice English, you should, you should uh participate every time you can all right or you ought to we are talking about the two different uh the two models or or should okay Okay, we watch the video, so you, you will tell me more examples, guys. Si no me dan ejemplos, no vamos a pasar de aquí. Mary, it's pretty much a law. Hi, I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. 
when you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if okay. I present these two sentences. Can you give me an example? We have two. Kevin. Kevin, Lisette, and Edgardo. Okay. I have to go to, go to the work. Mm -hmm. But that is not a recommendation or an opinion. It's a very good example. But according to the example we were uh, listening in the video, Kevin? The, the child have to go uh, use the cell phone? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let me write it here. The child? The child, you say, right? Have to? You can use have got to. Guys, if we're talking about one sing one person or something that is singular, we always use has, has. right? Exactly. Remember this. All right. So or if you're talking about plural, then we say children. Now the children have got to. What? Finish that sentence. Go to the bed early. Have got have got to go to bed early. Okay. That is a, an opinion. Very nice. Thank you, Edgardo. Okay, Kevin and uh, and Lisette, are you still give um you're still missing? Uh, the pilot had had to go. Pilot or pilot? Uh, pilot. Pilot. Pilots. Have got to. Have got to or have to. Huh? Not. Okay, if it's negative, guys, how do you how do you transfer this in negative? Haven't. Haven't? We were talking about that yesterday, that actually somebody corrected, right, Alberto? You told me, right? Haven't is more like present perfect. Doesn't have. Doesn't have, or the pilots, do, the pilots don't have, since we're talking about plural, all right? So they, the, the negative form is don't have, all right? Um, pilots don't have to. Okay. Driving fast. Driving fast. All right. Uh, another rule, guys. It's when we're talking about the um, 
models because they are models. Remember, we have plenty of models. We have must, we have uh, should, we have um, can, etc., etc., etc. After these models, the verb has to be an infinitive. So it's not necessary with ing. Ronald, you want to say something? I just need to make sure if we will have class tomorrow. No. No. No, just... we already say that yesterday. And no, we don't have classes. But this coming Wednesday, which is the 1st of March, yes. But not tomorrow. Ah, okay. Will tomorrow. you be our teacher in advance? I don't think so. <gasps> I'm sad. I'm not sure. I mean, the the group is very is very small, and I'm uh, almost a hundred percent sure that some of you will not be in advance. Maybe you're not probably um, having the enough attendance, and also the group is very small. And not everybody is in advance or ready to go to advance. All right. Uh, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be in advance uh, because we normally rotate. Okay. And we, how will we notice if we haven't passed to advance? Will you let us know? No, that is not my, um, that is not something that is my responsibility. Your duty. But if you're doing everything, I mean, you have good attendance and you have done all the exercises correct, more than 80%, you should be able to pass. Okay. And you shouldn't be worried about it, Ronald. Your English is already advanced. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Most of you have very, very good English. So I'm very proud of you guys. And don't forget to practice anytime you can. All right. Okay, guys. So have to remember we are using um, an infinitive verb after the models. Okay. However, if it's like, um, like the examples that we were listening to, We use models plus B plus a past infinitive, all right? In this case will be, they should not be permitted. Um, the police, um, shouldn't be, how can I say this? A past part, we need to use the past participle, remember? Police must not be permitted or must not be allowed uh, to enter in houses without permission. Okay. She working from home law. Oh, the working from home law should be approved. That is a good example, Susan. Thank you. I should practice more pronunciation after should we don't use to we just use the verb i should practice more okay um that's it let's continue guys we already finished this this as well so we were supposed to do the oh what is that what is a tag question guys According to what we read or we studied yesterday, when do we use the tag question? Any idea? Uh, Alberto, why do we use a uh, tell question? And what is the rule? In this case, there what is I a remember, rule. Huh? 
Yeah, uh, what I remember, and well, the rule is when we're talking in, in affirmative, so that that question should be in negative and vice versa. Oh, and it's necessary when we're talking, for example, I want to listen to you if you are agree or disagree with what, what, what I'm saying. Exactly. It's when you want to know if the person agrees or disagrees, right? And for example, you are a very good student, aren't you? All right. It's a very, it's a, it, that is a, a tough question. It, it's always, um, it's always the opposite as the affirmation. Okay. Good. Um, so we have those examples already. The intonation in tag questions, guys, is always important. Sometimes you're reading and you're not pronouncing the question mark. You're not pronouncing or doing the intonation at the end. Remember, if it's a question, you need to raise your voice. All right? And you watch this already. And we already finished this part. We were supposed to finish the reading, but okay, we did the listening as well. And um, fortunately, because, well, we're almost uh, running out of time, we will leave the reading part for this coming Monday, right? And yeah, you're too, too quiet today, so we will leave this for the, the next Monday. I hope that everybody reads this. Um, next Monday, there is a Let's see. There are many paragraphs, so we can divide them, so we all practice pronunciation. Okay. So far, guys, any other any other topic you want to add? Uh, besides, I will still continue looking for information about some sounds and some rules if I am able to get them. All right. And of course, that is something that I have pending to. To clarify some doubts about pronunciation, but we'll I, I will continue looking for certain rules. Okay, and if you don't have any other question, guys, anything else? Some other things I heard that we need to work on. It's also on the prepositions as well. Okay, and that's it. We will see you um uh, I'll see you on Monday guys okay take care and thank you for being connected and yeah. for your participation all right la participación Good night. guys es muy muy importante para que ustedes practiquen nos vemos el día del eh, el día lunes bye